Hi, I'm Peter Wade, I'm UK Sales Manager for Mega Limited, and today I'm here at Pass in one of their training bays to show you how to do an installation test using an Omega MFT X1. An installation test is basically a test we do on a cable to ensure that there's no short circuits, um, no connection between the live and the neutral, with the live and the earth, and neutral and earth when you're installing cables. Um, this is so that we can ensure that you want a high, high resistance, very high resistance, in fact you want an open circuit, um, and that proves that the cable is suitable for the voltage. So, on the X1, we set it to the red section and we come up with the installation test. Now for 7671, there are two tests you do. 250 volts for low voltage circuits and 500 volts for, for everything else. Today I'm just going to do a 250 volt test because I'm not sure what is connected onto the circuit or any electronics in there. There could be some sockets that may have the USB ports on there. Uh, so we don't want to damage them USB ports when we're doing the test. It's a very simple test. We have an analog reading on the display and you just hold and press the button down to do the test. But first we need to get to our panel because this is a dead test so we need no power on the circuit at all. So we need to get to our panel, open our panel up, safe isolation, ensure it's safe to work on and then start doing the test. Okay, so this is the consumer of the unit we know the circuit is associated with. I've turned all the circuits off, the RCD incomer is off as well, but we know there's power there because the isolator is on. So we first need to ensure that we isolate the circuit that we're testing. So what we do is we will isolate the whole board just to be safe. So first we remove the panel. <laughs> then using a proven unit and a two pole tester or voltage indicator like our TPT420, we go through the isolation procedures. So basically, first off, we need to make sure that this bit of kit is working correctly. So using the proving unit, which gives it a voltage, we can see that it's working fine. So just to show you that it's on, if I go to earth, to the live, we've got a voltage, voltage on the neutral. There's a voltage there, so we know that there is light there. So we're gonna isolate the whole circuit. And basically what we do is we just check our meter again. Working fine, and again, do them same tests. F to live, no indication. F to neutral, no indication, and live to neutral, no indication. And then just for the, make sure that our meter, yes, our meter is still working fine. So now I'm happy to work on that. And again, if this was in another room, we would need to padlock that off. But as I'm working in this bay and I'm the only one here with this, I'm happy to leave that in the other position. So what we need to do is find the circuit we're going to be isolating. So we need the live and the neutral. So in circuit number three here, I'm going to remove the live cable out of the breaker. And there we have the live. Now I need the associated neutral with it on the same circuit. So I know that that's an orange connection and there's an orange connection on the neutral and therefore that is the associated neutral. Okay, so now we need to do an installation test between the two, um, the line and the neutral. So get our MFT, we connect in our positive and negative or live and earth or red and green cables or whatever two cables you're using. I'm using the grippers on this occasion um, then connect onto the cable itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, uh, a current through that and voltage through that and hopefully it'll be open circuit, it's no connections. So here's the test here. I've got it preset to 250 volts. I just press and hold the button in. Once I get stable reading like that, I take my finger off the button and that's my reading, greater than 999 ohms, which I would expect. If you're any, any values about 
seven or below, even down to two, um, you might want to start to do some investigation to see why there's such a low resistance on the cable. But that's basically it. What we now need to do is the same again, but use the associated earth and do exactly the same test. Okay, what we need to do now is put the cables back in, put the cover on the unit, re-energize the circuit and ensure it's working um, as it was before we um, took them cables apart. Thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it. I've done another, a few other videos, RCD, continuity and earth loop impedance and the link should be appearing on the screen now. Um, if you've got any questions or comments that you want to leave, please leave them in the comments box at the bottom of the page and someone from past will be back uh, with your answers. Thank you for your time.